What's up everyone? April 26th workout, that's a Tuesday. We have an 18 minute EMOM, EMOM meaning every minute on the minute. Uh, your first minute is going to be max reps of devil's presses and your second minute will be max reps of air squats. After that, you have a one minute break and you're going to repeat that six times. Six times three equals 18. Um, that's what we're prepping for. I will talk a little bit more about the workout after our warm up. Okay, we are starting our warm up with some jumping jacks. We're doing 30 seconds of each of the movements. We're doing three rounds today. Uh, I'm taking away the dumbbell warm up for today. Um, yeah, so we're doing three rounds of body weight movement. Let's get started. to take these slow to start. Just feel how my body's feeling. We're going into half burpees next. So our half burpees, you can step out step in or you can jump out. Don't have to stand. Just work on getting your feet to your hands. If you want to stand, you can. You can step out and just get to plank. Feel that out as well. Up to you. I'm going to do inchworms with a push-up now. Nice and slow. Start to warm up your body. I'm going to do a 30 second scorpion stretch on each side. your chest open up. I hope I put enough rounds in here. I'm gonna start back at our jumping jacks.
inner squats with a pause. Happy burpees. Just feeling that in my body right now. You can start going. You don't have to wait for me. Inch arms with a push up.
up. Yeah. Up oh, ends our warm up. So we had three rounds of this. Hope you're feeling warm. Let's go and talk about the workout. Okay, in setting up for the workout, we do have, uh, just a reminder, six rounds is going to be, the first minute is going to be all devil's presses. The second minute is all air squats. The third minute is a rest. So think about pushing through those first two minutes, get your third minute as a rest, and we're gonna do six rounds of it. Uh, going over your devil press, if you have 25 pounds or lighter in terms of dumbbells, try to use double dumbbell. If you have 30 and up, you can go single dumbbell on your double presses. Remember your double press is like a burpee with a overhead dumbbell swing. Um, let's demo. When you do your double press and you come out of your burpee, make sure you have a flat back, you're not rounded here. I don't want you to start to have to curl your back and then feel it in the knees any part of your back, whether it be upper or lower. So always make sure that when you come out of your, your burpee, shoulders are back slightly to make sure you're engaging your lats. Starting with your single dumbbell, we're going to do a few reps together. Uh, let's do like four to six reps. I'm gonna also demo on a double dumbbell as well. So you can uh, move while you're listening to me. You can have your hand already on the dumbbell. You're gonna jump out go into your burpee, and then swings in between the legs, up overhead. You can bring it back down the shoulder, switch to the other side, burpee, swings in between the legs, and up. Now, I don't have enough room to show this over here, but make sure when you are swinging, remember, flat back here. So do your four to six reps if you're doing single dumbbell. Then you can move into your double dumbbell if you wanna try that. You're gonna need a lot more aggression in getting the both dumbbells up overhead. Sometimes I like to squeeze the dumbbells together to just have one weight moving or make it feel like I have one weight moving. So you're going to have your hands on the dumbbells, jump out, do your little push-up, and then from here, both swing up overhead. Aggressive glutes here. Do another one, down, up, both of them up, and swing, squeeze your butt. You don't want to move forward with the weight. You want to drive your heels into the ground for that. Um, let's see what else I have to say. I think that's it for the double presses. Aggressive glutes. Uh, if you are starting to feel this in your back slightly and you're using double dumbbell, bring it down to one. You don't have to finish the workout the way you started. Um, that's all I got to say. Let's get to working out. Okay, hope you got your setup ready. We are starting with our double presses. We're going into air squats and then we got a one minute break for six rounds. Everyone ready? Let's go.
Troubleshoot how uh, you can move better. If you want to move a little faster, see what felt good. I may go a little bit faster on my air squats. Uh, I hit my head on the on like the second double press, so I gotta make sure I clear my face, bring the dumbbells down. Um, yeah, those are the things I'm thinking about. Hope you're ready to go. We got 15 seconds. Five. seconds. Do not sacrifice your form for speed. I want to make sure that you feel good. Do not break your back, literally, doing a movement. I want to make sure that you're moving well. Form over speed, okay? So I want you to make sure. If you need to bring it down to single dumbbell, do it. We have 10 seconds. Back to our double presses.
15 seconds ish. Ten seconds. There we It's raining here. That's the static you hear, just letting you know.
I guess it's really a 17 minute email. That last minute of rest doesn't matter. Last little bit. 20 seconds. Ten. Here we go, here we go. Let's go. Should be our last run. Looks like it is. I'm gonna let this minute run through uh, as I talk. Um, I hope it felt good. As long as you keep consistently moving. Um, write down your scores if you have them. I did not count my score. I'm just gonna put a smiley face. Um, you can do whatever you want. Just indicate that you did do the workout. Um, if you did keep account, total reps, total devil presses, and total air squats. We're moving on to our strike next. I'm going to stop the timer, stop the video here, and let's go into strength. Strength portion. We have uh, three to four rounds of 10 step ups each leg, 10 elevated glute bridges if you can each leg. If you don't have a box, you can do lunges in place of step ups. I'm going to do 10 each leg. You can do all 10 on one leg and all 10 on the other. Just want to make sure I don't miss one stepping. my butt feels, but uh, I started with it. I get it. Keep going with this set with it.
Try to stand up tall on the one leg before you meet it, before you meet your foot on the box with your other leg. Elevated hip bridges. You don't have a box. You can uh, do regular hip bridges. Making sure you are feeling this in your butt. I'm not sure about.
Ay. Go one more round. If you have a ton to do another, feel free. But I'm calling it a day after this one for myself. Okay, Okay, that's it for me. If you want to do a fourth set, by all means, please do it. Um, if you are not and you're signing out with me, then I hope you had a very good workout. Regardless, I hope you had a very good workout. Look, I'm steaming. Um, good job, and I will see you guys soon.